Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today Tunbridge Angels are away to Dorking Wanderers in the National League. So I thought you'll fix in today's game. Well, I don't know if you can hear me because I sound like I'm all being blown away even when it's a still day and it's really, really windy today. Um, yeah, back to Dorking. The team who won our league last year, so we came here twice last year, going a third time over in 12 months. Um, and let's hope we can get our first points on the board. Uh, yeah, so it should be quite a good game. Obviously Dorking won the Boston Premier last year, the league that we got promoted from. And uh, they won their first two games against uh, Slough Town away and Hemel at home. And we've lost our two games against Dulwich and Eastbourne. And the two games, or well, the three games in fact, um, against Dorking last year, lost 1-0 uh, here at the in the trophy, 1-0 here in the league, and then lost 2-0 at home. What is your score prediction? Um, yeah, they've lost two, we've lost two as you say. So it could only mean one thing, a 1-0 Angels win. I think we'll be This is the third time here. What are your thoughts on this oh, ground then? The same as it is, normally, but we're not going to have winter so today, but uh, it's quite smart for some people. I wonder what's going to happen next time about it. Yeah, it's obviously a really nice uh, ground, but obviously I don't think it's nationally south standard. So I'll show you my view around. been sent off but it's clearly the other way around the number 18 had an awful tackle in him and Overton's got a red Sunbridge we don't care we love you we love you
Review here at Meadow Bank. It's currently Dorking Wanderers two, Tunbridge Angels nil. What do you think? Yeah, I know we watched the game in different places. Um, I thought there was a real injustice there. Um, I thought it was an accidental collision with um, Ovenden and their player. Um, couldn't believe when the red came out. I thought it was just to say, just accidental collision. Both get a bit of treatment, carry on with the game, or one get off. Um, and since then, it's really changed the game because we were playing some really good stuff up to then, and we will now never know how this game would have gone in an even playing field. Linesman gave it, wasn't the ref? Ref didn't have a clue. Asked the linesman, the linesman told him to give it, um, and it's really hard to just accept an injustice for a game like that. But uh, oh well, two goals, you know, it's possible, but it's unlikely. Yeah, I think we're doing quite hard done. I think. Obviously, um, Dorking have deserved their two goals, but it's, the red cards changed the game. Something really harsh. Um, you know, I thought, you know, the number six had a high foot on him, and then the 18 done a high foot on Overton, so that's why he was injured. So, um, and then Overton got a red, which quite clearly should be the six and 18 should have got it. But, um, yeah, hopefully, we do uh, maybe turn it around second half, but I just can't see it happening. You know, third time, looks like it's third defeat in a row third win for Dorking against 10 men so yeah see you in a second go on yeah. uh, a bit dubious isn't it oh, <laughs> oh. get up because oh. he's it's for a foul, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow card, Tom Derry. John, both. Yes! Come on! Yes! Two-one. Tommy Hessian Harris scores. We're back in it now. Come on! Where's the music gone? Where's the music gone? Where's the music gone? Where's the music gone? Oh! He's going to put it on there. Where's the music? Where's the music? On his head, he's got a dustbin. On his head, he's got a dustbin. On his head. Where's your steward gone? Where's your steward's gone? Where's your steward's gone? Where's your steward's gone? Been sacked. And it is a yellow card for number 16. Jenny McKenzie! Jenny McKenzie! Money, money, money! Go on, Jared! Go on, Jared! No! Oh! Go on, Joe! No! Oh, go on! Go on! Oh! Stop making noise, keeper! Oh! Jared Spoon's coming off. Raquel de Costa. Oh. Oh. Go on, Reedy. Really. Go on, Chins. No, we don't. Go on. Oh, go on. Oh. No. Oh, 
Okay, we're now going back. What did you think? Um, well, as I said at half time, you know, the um, red card seemed really harsh and it changed the game. And I think when you come home from a game, yeah, you, you know, you obviously a brilliant effort from the team. But um, I think you're, um, if you're beaten by a better team, you can sort of accept defeat. And if you give a really good account of yourselves, then you can be really pleased. And we did give a really good account of ourselves. But the red card changed the game. So what would have happened, we will never know. Um, really good battling performance from the team second half, and let's take that into account. Yeah, well, we played really well, even with 10 men. Uh, when it was 11 v 11, uh, we were miles better than them, but obviously red card changed the game. Um, yeah, it's a shame really how bad the stewards treated us today, threatening to kick us out for just making noise. It's ridiculous, really. How are they going to do it when they have folks like Maidstone and, and Wildstone fans going? Um, nice to know that also that one of the stewards got sacked for telling us off. <laughs> and uh, I believe the Lino, uh, the, the Lino who gave the decision might be getting uh, like a big telling off from the recessor as well. So at least we know we've got somewhere, hopefully, to get that rescinded. But uh, yeah, shame about the results today. Three defeats uh, uh, in a row. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.